Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're here in Cameron, Arizona. It's 625 and we're on out of here. Uh, should be there by 9.30. We still got an hour to go back. Uh, an hour there, so these guys can't take more than an hour and a half to get unloaded. So uh, for right now, we're going to uh, the first stop. It makes no sense, but we're getting paid by the miles, so it is what it is. Uh, I'd rather just go to Surprise and then go back down past Phoenix to that second stop but it is what it is guys <laughs> I tried to call Alex and he didn't call him back and let me know so it might change by the time I get onto the 17 but I'm not sure so I got roll out here pretty quick guys I uh, did my inspection and did everything so we're gonna roll out here and I'll see you guys uh, I don't know what the city's called <laughs> I never know like what city unless it's like a big city where I'm going it's uh is it on Harvard Avenue, Gilbert, Arizona? So we'll see you guys in Gilbert. Uh, so let's go, guys. We're here in Mesa, Arizona. Uh, it's not in Surprise, Arizona, it's in Mesa. <laughs> so we did get approval to um, drop off this second stop, which was supposed to be you know, but we're doing it first. Uh, it just makes sense because of that back bundle has the second stop, it's going to save some time and work from them uh, taking it off, putting it back on, you know, stuff like that. So we're gonna get this one off and then we'll go down and drop the other one off. Uh, this guy dropped the pin, so it's over here. A lot of houses being built. It's about five, six miles off the freeway. About five miles. All these houses back here, man. Master plan community. Reminds me a lot where I'm from, Irvine. This looks just like Irvine what they're building here from the entrance and everything looking it looks like Irvine maybe it's the same builder Hi, somebody didn't swing wide you can see the sidewalk truck just ran over the damn sidewalk swing it wide Dead ends right into it. I just don't know why you will live out here. There's nothing here. Work is far away. Come on, like a 30, 45 minute drive to Phoenix. There's really nothing to do in Mesa. <laughs> These houses are probably cheap. All right, we're gonna follow this guy. guys I didn't show you the load uh, but as you can see stop two is right here uh, put four up on top put one belly there because I like the pressure coming down uh, and then I put one more there too so two two uh, two bellies same thing over here plan is the reason I did this way on the third one uh, is if they do it correctly I'm just gonna loosen these two boom and boom or I, I got actually all four, sorry, all four. And if he picks it up right, uh, it'll just drop on top of that one. So we'll get rid of the middle one. I'll kill that one. And then these three, hopefully, if he just picks it up right, we won't have to redo it or wound the straps up or anything like that. So that is the plan. But what a pain in the ass to get in here. <laughs> this is the reason why we did it backwards. We flipped the load was because of this. You can see stop two is up there. But here's stop one, stop one, and then stop one. So that top one's two. <coughs> I think stop one set it on the other side. I just want to make sure. But it's not that hard to read. See, it says one, one, and one. And then 
two right up there also. So we're gonna get this unstrapped pretty quick. Hopefully they can unload us and we can make our second stop. Probably gonna pick up at CMC Steel is what I'm thinking or go that bullshit sheetrock. It's gonna be the other plan. So uh, one of these pallets are theirs too. I just gotta get this unwind too. So I'm gonna get this done quickly guys and we'll see ya. Exactly, 1201. I got my next load, I'll tell you guys when we get here. Uh, we're not picking up today, so, but it's a long dead head, so. Uh, it's gonna be another short day tomorrow again. These short hops are gonna kill me. What? What's up everyone? So we are getting load, unloaded. The guy has the big fork where you can stick it all the way in and lift the whole layer up. <laughs> so our next load is going to uh, that north, northern pipe, that blue pipe. We've been there numerous times. It's 240 miles away from here. Uh, and it's going, actually, where's it going? Oh, Spanish Fork, Utah. So gonna try to pick it up and then deliver the same day tomorrow. So I don't think it's that far. Uh, I don't like to load, but we got to get it delivered tomorrow uh, or it's going to be a bullshit load. So uh, going to stay a night over there and then um, hopefully get loaded first thing in the morning. I'm going to go shower at Kingman is the thing or at the Loves and I'll shower there and then uh, stay night in front of the property. So that's going to be the plan, guys. Uh, he's almost done unloading, as you can see right here in the back. He's got one more lift and then the pallet. We're going to roll out of here. It's 1230. Perfect, and we should get to Kingman by four o'clock shower. Roll out of there by say five the latest, and then get to uh, Yucca, which is only like 30 minutes down the road. So you guys see the unload. One whole lift, guys. Oh I love it. So, all right guys, we'll see you probably in Kingman. What's up guys? So I just took my shower. Uh, I filled my portable shower. So I've done videos before, maybe I'll show you show you guys how I fill it up but usually I have two of these so every time I go home I buy two of these and then uh, fill them up as I go uh, I can fill them up where you get the coffee you know the sink you can fill up in there or I can fill up in the shower one or the other but I fill this up and I pour it in there it's about a 12 gallon um, bucket back there so um, I did that so I had, I had my hand full I couldn't use the phone uh, I bought these two I was gonna buy the 50 count the boo bucket but didn't have it I love these donut holes guys these are so good I can eat like 15 or 20 in the morning <laughs> I love them but I usually get Starbucks as you guys know so I don't really get Dunkin Donuts and uh I asked she, she asked me what do I get at Starbucks and I, I always get the vanilla sweet cream cold brew and I asked for an extra pump or two of vanilla and extra sweet cream is what i get I, I know i just don't like coffee that much but if it's um has enough flavor to it i'll drink it uh but during like winter time i'll get a white chocolate mocha hot is what i like so um we are 40 minutes away i'm gonna stay at night i'm really tired guys i've like hit the wall when i took a shower i'm like i could take a nap <laughs> but i need to get over there i'm gonna make asada or i'm gonna make burgers tonight i'm not sure yet I might make burgers because I'm in the mood for those and I got time to make french fries this time I know you guys see my videos when I make burgers I'm like oh, I didn't make fries I didn't make fries they've been in that freezer for like about two months because <laughs> they take too damn long so what I'm gonna do is man I should put them in the air fryer right now by the time I get there they'll be done right <laughs> but 
I got time this time, so uh, we should be there by six o'clock. And then we got about 12 hours. So I'm gonna wake up at six to get loaded. So we'll see. I'm gonna wake up at six. Hopefully she said maybe 6.30 they can load me. I told her if they can, that'd be awesome. But they start at seven. So we'll see, I'm gonna wake up at six tomorrow. So, all right guys, we're gonna see you in Yucca, Arizona. What up everybody? I went from being tired to hyper. <laughs> Uh, trying to see if there's any other trucks parked here for them. I don't see any trucks down there. Uh, we are here. Uh, it's 541 right now. So we're going to stay here for the night. I don't understand that. There, but I hate that hill. This is gonna be a pain. I'd be so mad if they could load me because I'll be mad. <laughs> Alright, um so like I said it's 545. Uh, I'm the first truck, so I'll get loaded tomorrow morning. Hopefully, this is the hope is that they actually will open the gate a little earlier and I can get out of here. Uh, it's gonna be tight, but we'll see. <laughs> That's all I can do, guys. So I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna make the burgers, I'm gonna make the fries. And I'm gonna eat that for dinner. Uh, I've caught up on these videos. When you see this, I'm only gonna be like a day or two behind. A day or two behind. So I'm pretty happy about that. YouTube, I'm still kind of a little behind. But on TikTok, I'm caught up. So, all right, we're gonna make food uh, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Stay safe out there guys, love y'all, peace. Morning everybody, um, they took me at like 6.50 to check in. Uh, they're gonna take me, it's only eight units guys. So I might be out here even before eight. I'm so excited right now, hopefully. So we're gonna start heading back over there and get and get loaded. I'm hoping, hoping guys, eight o'clock, eight o'clock. And I think we can make it to Spanish Fork. Um, on time so this is good news i'm not getting my hopes up because this place is hit or miss so we'll see so i'll let you guys know hey guys here's the load i'm gonna keep on this on the tarps but it shouldn't go anywhere I'm gonna hammer down one more, one more click on that, make sure. Might put another strap right there, I'm not sure yet. We'll see, but it's the load, pretty simple. Uh, you're gonna see there's a belly here and then there's two straps on the bottom, I'll show you guys. So this bundle is a lot smaller. So what you do is you throw two straps, where you see right there in that middle one and in that front one. So it'll help it cinch it down so when you guys throw it, you don't tighten it or anything. The forklift driver then brings that big tall bundle, sets it, and makes sure it's in between the wood. It's not caught. You can see it's in between the wood. And then you tighten the top, the big one, first, and then you do those two. So that's why it looks like this. And then we got four up here. So I might try to fix that. Uh, I might just put the chain right there and move it. That's what I'm probably going to do. So are right, there anything pictures? We're going to get out of here. We might get unloaded today, I'm not sure. It's eight o'clock exactly, so we'll see you guys. Bye everybody, so Mike's back there. See him in the orange? You don't like to be on video. Uh, we're here at Yardley's the pilot, we met up uh, to do our dirty. Load's doing pretty good. Uh, the only thing is this plastic wrap is coming off. <laughs> uh, there's nothing I can do, uh, but it's doing pretty good. I'm gonna check it one more time with the bar. Um, the only thing I was kind of tripping out, and I just kept looking out my mirror. You see how this plastic is all. Uh, it felt like this was leaning out or something, but I looked at it and it's not. It's just the way it's packaged. But you can see, it just looks, it just looks like it's shifting, but it's not. So that's how they have the pipes. 
so <laughs> I don't like it, but uh, digging my next load, I'm not happy about it, so I'm gonna call uh, Alex. Let's go to Colorado Springs. It's only 600 miles away. I can almost get there by, if I wanted to, get there by tomorrow, so. Give Alex a call and see what he says. So we're gonna keep rolling, guys. We'll see if we get unloaded or not. I'll let you guys know. call them before that so in case they couldn't take me uh, I'll take a shower there but get it unloaded the same day I got loaded 500 miles <laughs> Man. Uh, it's uh, 610 right now so plan I did get a next load I'll tell you guys that when I get there did get a little better load than the one he gave me so uh, it's another cool thing about Central Oregon it's call them up say hey that's a bullshit load and maybe he'll find you another load or just have to accept it but at least you can have that conversation you know so if you work really hard for them look at all this traffic y'all Damn! Y'all get traffic like this? Wowzer. Uh, this has always been, if I had anywhere to live, I would love to live here right here in Spanish Ford. Uh, if you guys been to Hydro with Prime, it's right here. Uh, everything's here to eat. They got my Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> uh, I like it here. I love it here. Guys, uh, we're going to have to fly in J. I think this is like the same parking spot as I did last time I was here. Like, uh, what was it? Last week? It was most recently. Maybe it was this week. Yeah, I think it was this week when I came up. I'm pretty sure I got to look back. But I think it's this spot or the one next to me because I remember the curb in front of me facing the fuel island. 
so uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, we're here at the Flying J, like I said, in uh, 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 Nephi. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. I'm worn out. Uh, doing pickups and drops every day is very tiring. <laughs> and um, our next slot, I'm going to pop it up here, is uh, picking up in Gaff. And we're going to kind of like the Sacramento, San Francisco, I don't know, somewhere up there. Uh, it's still not a great load, but I'm still going to hit my 3,000 miles for the week, even with this load. Uh, a lot of you guys are like, be happy with 3,000 miles. But here at Central Oregon, I want about 3,400 is my average. And then my max should be about 3,005, 3,006. So, because I work very hard. I, like I said, I got this delivered early. I got the last load delivered early, the two stopper. So, uh, but I'm hitting the wall guys and I can't. So the plan's going to be, I'll let you guys know in the morning. Uh, I'll kind of break it down, but uh, going to Gaff, which is about an hour, say about two and a half hours from here. And then um, going to Tonopah, Nevada for my 34. And then I'm going to go to, after my 34, which is Friday, I'm gonna do a 34 Friday. Sunday, I'm gonna roll out and see if I can stay a night there because it's only gonna be like another th 380 to drive. Um, I'm gonna see, I can go to that Thunder Valley Casino or I can stay the night at the place, but I'm gonna give them a call and see. And I'm gonna look at it and, and see what I see on Street View. So uh, I'm tired guys, I really am. <laughs> so I'm gonna go take a shower and go eat and go to bed and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Stay safe out there guys, love y'all, peace.